design exists at the intersection of time and creativity and human emotion and experience and need. And we really believe in the immortal words of Carlo Molino that everything is permissible as long as it is fantastic. Design is opportunity, really. It's the chance to look within oneself and discover something that didn't exist before that ultimately solves a problem or answers a call and makes the world a more beautiful place. I'm Joshua Rose. And I'm Raphael Kalichstein, and we are the founders of Form Design Studio, a multidisciplinary design firm focusing in the luxury residential, boutique hospitality, and commercial spaces. We also work in product design, and we work on projects globally. We're headquartered in Los Angeles, though we've attracted an international team of architects and designers that we uh, have the pleasure of working with. And we're particularly proud of the artisans, the resources that we've made worldwide, um, glass makers, uh, hardware suppliers, stone suppliers, finishers, that we're able to collaborate with in realizing our projects. We're stronger because of those relationships, and we're always looking to find new ways to express the things that we want to say for our projects. Having both come from different creative fields, um, I think we approach design a little bit differently than maybe other studios do. And we really explore design as an art form and space is the medium in which we work. Our greatest goal is to discover rather than impose on our projects. We come to them fresh and ready to listen, to hear what it is that the client needs, but also what the context is, what the site needs, what the, what the goal ultimately is. And if you listen well enough, we find, you really do hear a natural tendency, something that the project wants to be. And we really work to draw that out and then to refine it and put a lens of creativity, our own creativity, with a tremendous amount of experience to kind of put a vision forward. I think the future of design today is a more important question than perhaps it's ever been. Um, in many ways, I think design has to answer the call of uh, the planet and how we as designers, uh, the things that we dream up for ourselves, for our projects, for our clients, they have to be things that take into consideration um, the impact on the planet. I think you're right. I also would say that in some ways, um, the future of design is the same as the past. It's going to be a reaction to whatever the new reality is that we face as that reality comes to us and as we discover it. And in our specific disciplines, design will always um, seek to comfort, to challenge, to lift up, um, to inspire, um, to elicit an emotion in someone because it's something that they choose to interact with, whether it's entering a hotel or a restaurant or their, their home, mm -hmm. there's an, a visceral emotional response to the design that we do. And that is constant. Mm -hmm. uh, the call for the designer is going to continue to get more layered, more nuanced, more exciting. And our opportunities to create things using technology, using information, using global resource and um, accessibility is only going to make the job and the art form more vibrant. But I think the, the essence, the fundamental inspiration of design is, is ubiquitous and is timeless. It's to solve a problem, to, to, to answer a question, to look within oneself, to discover something that didn't exist before and bring it to the world in a new way that, that makes the world better.